Magandang maga po ulit sa inyong lahat and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Nung bata pa tayo, when we were still young, life was a huge playground. Nung bata pa tayo, parang isang dambuhalang pl- playground ang buhay natin, ang mundo. All we did was play, all we did was eat, have fun, you know, play computer games or watch TV. Wala tayong problema, no stress. Lahat na lang is fun and play and everything else. Imagination natin, malawak. We had a huge, uh, very unlimited imagination. We could fly, we could run as, uh, with the speed of light, we are strong as Superman. Imagination is endless. If we wanted something, all we had to do was ask, and if we didn't get it, we cry. And if we didn't get it, we sulk. Tatampo tayo pag hindi natin makuha. And then, after a while, we forget it anyway. So, kung sakasali, susubukan natin makuha by crying or by, you know, kuli- kukulitin natin yung magulang natin. And kung hindi natin makuha, iyak na lang tayo at kakalimutan natin. No problem. Walang problema. Yan buhay ng bata. No problems. But as we grow older, we begin to realize that life wasn't such a great playground. That life wasn't a big playground. That life is like a roller coaster. Roller coaster. Hmm? Pa yung ride ba sa, sa playground, no? sa circus, no? bakit ba, bakit ba, ba? It's like a roller coaster. Minsan nasa taas, minsan nasa baba. Minsan masarap, minsan masaya, minsan malungkot, minsan mahirap, minsan masakit. Life is like a roller coaster. It's full of responsibilities. Muna, meron tayong pag habang lumalaki na tayo, our parents ask us to help around in the house, tutulong tayo sa bahay, we have to study, do our homework when we uh, go to school, we pa- have to pass the exams, we have to graduate. Dami pro- nag-uumpisa ng dum- uh, dumating at dumagdag yung mga problema. After graduation, we have to find the job, a good one. Having find the job, we have to save for our future. Our, the responsibilities just pile up. No? At minsan, kasama ng responsibilities, yung difficulty, yung challenges, yung pain, yung suffering. That's why siguro the Lord asked, told us today in the Gospel, no? mga final words, huling habili ni Jesus Christ, sa mga apostles siya, and to us, you know, sabi niya, you will weep and mourn. You will have pain, but your pain will turn into joy. In short, Jesus never promised a rose garden. He never said that life is gonna be easy all the time. He never said that life is gonna be sweet and nice all of the time. Merong pain. Merong suffering. So, anong, anong, para, anong sinasabi para sa atin? Yes, in the, in the beginning, we have to avoid, of course, no? We have to avoid suffering as much as we can. Iwasan natin yung hirap, iwasan natin yung, yung problema, yung sakit. Kung may iwasan. Pero kung hindi na may iwasan, after doing everything that you, could, you can, hindi mo pa rin may yung sakit, yung challenge, yung problema, yung suffering, then all you have to do is embrace it. You have to embrace the suffering. How? You embrace it by uniting, uniting your sufferings with the sufferings of Jesus. Nagkakaroon ng meaning. Hindi lang natin tinitiis. Nagkakaroon ng meaning. Whenever we unite our sufferings, whatever they may be, or our pains, or our challenges, our difficulties, Unite them with the sufferings and pains and difficulties of Jesus. Ano mangyayari? Dahil si Jesus, nung kanya, siya yung nag-suffer, that suffering led to the salvation of the world. Di ba? Dahil doon sa sufferings ng Panginoon, naligtas ang buong mundo. Nagkaroon ng kaligtasan. Nagkaroon ng forgiveness. In like manner, kapag nakaangkas na tayo doon sa sufferings ng Panginoon, our own sufferings, will become ways to salvation. Will become uh, stepping stones to the salvation, not only of ourselves, but of the whole world. 
So embrace it. Embrace it. Kaya nga siguro na lagi nating this is when we say na ano yan, parang blessing in disguise, no? That our sufferings can be blessings in disguise. Masakit, mahirap, pero merong saisay. Merong patutunguhan. It becomes a blessing not only for ourselves, but even for other people. Sufferings can be a blessing. Sabi ka na isang, sa isang play, sabi, suffering is like garbage. Doesn't smell good, doesn't look good, but it makes excellent fertilizer. It makes excellent fertilizer. It gives life. It gives salvation. It leads us to forgiveness. It leads us, hopefully, to heaven. And so we ask God to help us. Sana every time na may darating na suffering, na may darating na pain, not to forget to unite our sufferings to the sufferings of Christ.